Ba? Yeah, I think I would go for number nine. Nine, right. Say one or two ways in which you are like your mother or your father. Oh, my mother and my father, they are very uh, passionate and also like, <coughs> what is that? Uh, honest, very honest people. But that you are the same. So not what they are like individually, but where you are the same. Say or one or two ways which you are like your mother or father. Yeah. They, so you're they are both honest. honest? Yeah. Yes, they're honest. And, uh, uh, you know, like, what, what, what we call it in English? When they really, you know, really care for for the family, and it love loving, uh, loving family, you know, whatever, so they whatever very, they. So they looked after the family. They were responsible. They cared for you. Responsible, yes. So yes, they did their duty yes. as parents to look after you and your siblings. Yeah, like like they they never they never complaining no matter how hard the situation could be and they just like I, I don't know like they got uh, on with life you know to... they got Sorry? on with life and they never complained they took yeah, everything yeah. in their mm -hmm. stride they took everything yeah. in their stride without uh, complaining and, very... and um, just did the best and they, they could are... Yeah, and they are very modest. Like they live in modest life, so they teach they teach they teach us how to, you know, like to love each other, like with my sibling, relative, you know. So we are being taught like don't don't love people just by their money or for material stuff. You know, we love so they people. they told you not to be their... um, materialistic. They told you not to be materialistic yes. and uh -huh. to care for people um, because of the personality, the way they are, right? So they yes, gave yes, you a yes. good yes, upbringing. Right. right, the next one. Oh, I keep getting these parts. Right. Ooh. What is the most exciting thing that has ever happened to you? Uh, I don't know. I'm still waiting, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting for something <laughs> to happen. Um, I have enjoyed myself when I have traveled, but the most exciting, um, it's still to come, I hope. Uh, I want to uh, go up in a hot uh, balloon. Or maybe one day okay. I will travel to Asia, but uh, I don't Ooh. know because I think I'm it's with quite me. dangerous. I'm with me. Or maybe, yeah, I, I think maybe you're going to go to Morocco. <laughs> Well, at the moment, everything's <laughs> closed, so we can't go anywhere. Yes. So, um, no, but uh, just in a far distance, I would like to go back to Turkey uh, because I really enjoyed that country. And other countries I really mm. haven't thought about because as we can't do anything, I'm not. So more than places, I would like to see one or two people I haven't seen for three years, for example. But the most exciting mm. thing, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a very I just enjoy the moment. No? Yeah, maybe your fans. I uh, I like to travel by train. Uh aeroplane Ooh. now as I'm older, I don't like as much, but I use it um because it's the best way to travel long distances. Um I think the most spectacular place I've been to is Dubai. Oh, 
even though I would never like to live there, but uh, we were shown around in 24 hours and everything is the biggest, mm -hmm. the best in Dubai. But it's to visit, to look at, uh, but not to live. Uh, number. Number eight. Number eight. I'm going to eight. What do you yeah. think is the greatest invention ever and why? <laughs> yes. I think, uh, you know, kind of, ah, what do you think is the greatest invention ever and why? Oh, I think kind of, you know, when I invent, kind of uh, stress or depressed remover device, you know? So you have Get to it? tell us something that has been invented, but you're saying if it could be invented, you would like something to take away stress, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, it, 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 you know, like the pre depressed or stress remover device to remove right. our bad mood our bad mood is depression yeah. or feeling that but you have to say what has been invented anxiety in the past. yeah 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 anxiety so you know and then by clicking the button and then your anxiety gonna be disappear but yeah. what has been invited uh, invented sorry what has been invented that you think is great oh that has been Oh, that yeah. has been invited. Oh, uh, it, the thing that has been, that means already invited them. That is uh, the internet. And then we can, you know, uh, connect with, with, with people who live far away from me, from us. Right? So, so for you, the uh, internet, internet is the, um, the PC and yeah. all these things are one of the greatest inventions ever. Well, you could have gone anywhere. Something mm -hmm. could have been uh, sitting with medicine. Uh, you talked about the future. I want them to invent a robot that can do everything for us. So oh. we don't have to do any housework. Oh. As you said, the future. And the greatest invention now, yeah. uh, I don't know. I could go for the internet and everything connected to technology on that level. Um, but uh, some people would say something to do with medicine could be another invention, no? And I like gadgets around the house, no? Right, I think it's my number now. What sort of clothes do yeah. you like wearing? Well, uh, I have Ooh. been living in pyjamas and tracksuits for the last two years. So I go from my PJs mm. or my pajamas to my tracksuit and right there. But I want to say something. Mm, I have this um, imagination that I would like it that we don't have to wear any clothes and we were just spirits. Because I hate wearing clothes. Why? So I'm <laughs> not in the way we are now, but I would like us to exist as spirits and clothes weren't necessary. Ooh, 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 ooh. So not okay. in this way we are what about now. <laughs> not now. I wouldn't like to be nude with no clothes on. But in a <laughs> world, I would like it not to be necessary to wear clothes because I hate having to wear clothes <laughs> and having to think, what can I put on? I feel it, uncomfortable it, 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 or whatever. Right, number. The, if, if, now, if now it's going to be good, good attraction. <laughs> for, no, no, no. No, I wouldn't meal. do it. I, I'm not a, a nudist fan. <laughs> but I'm saying in, in another world, in another circumstances, <laughs> I would like us all to be free spirit <laughs> and won't need them. Right, get to a number. Number seven. Number seven. What sort of things do you find difficult to learn in English? Wow, what a change of question. 
Ah, yeah. What sort, uh, what sort of thing do you find difficult to learn in English? A fresher form. <laughs> fresher form. Can't be that necessary. Yeah. There are thousands yeah, of them, yeah, but I because... suppose that's why they're difficult. And also they don't have any yeah. structure or yeah. very difficult that's to right. learn one by one. Phrase yeah. words, you find them the most difficult. Okay. I give you that one. What sort of things make you angry or annoyed? Mm. Uh, I try not to get angry or annoyed by most things now. But um, if I had to choose, let me think, let me think. Uh, people who are lazy and I am hardworking uh, or people who are good <laughs> or respectful. So I think if people have lost um, their idea how they should treat people, this could make me angry. Or I have nothing to do with these people at all. Right, and the last one is for you. Oh! Hello. Hey. <laughs> so, we have now, finished. Now, like loser. Day. So, I hope you... Today, this is not very lucky to me. It's, I'm, you know, like, I'm not lucky today because uh, I don't have any bomb point. I lost that point. So, yeah. <laughs> so, you didn't get any, you got points for coming and points for taking yeah. part. And also, you got points for having a conversation, uh, both of us together. 